I used to have a 2002 Yamaha R1. Probably my favorite bike I've ever owned in my entire life. I don't remember much after that accident happened. I woke up three days later in the hospital. Uh, a lot of people told me I was in a motorcycle accident and it was severe. I uh, almost died a few times. I had a total of 28 surgeries completely. It was a rough road, but eventually I got better. I just started doing really good. Uh, at the time I was going to UTI, um, I go back to UTI as an amputee. I finished the program, graduated third of my class. I walked, got my degree, I found a job, the Lord was there for two years, and then I found the lift shop. I, I always see, I've always seen lifted trucks drive around everywhere, and I see the label, lifted trucks, lifted trucks, everywhere you go, dealerships on every corner. And I found lifted trucks, I walked in, I was like, hey, I want a job, I want to lift the trucks. Um, well, we were looking for another tech. It's hard to find techs. Um, he walked in, uh, he's very big, probably be like 6'5". I honestly didn't even know his leg was gone. Um, he came in with jeans, he was, what, 6'5", or 6'6", six, six, and I'm like, holy crap, this guy is gonna be great. He doesn't know I don't have a leg. He, don't, he, he sees me wearing pants, he looks, I look normal. Interviewed well, wanted to get into the business, said he'd do whatever it takes to get the job. And so we started walking around the shop, checking it out. He's telling me all these things about this place, about what they've been about. Matt Co. Tool Guy shows up, and they were talking, and he's like, oh, from the other shop. And I was like, that's cool. And he's like, you're a lot taller standing up. And I had no idea what he was talking about. And he's like, oh, I forgot to tell you, I only have one leg. I was like, yeah, I'm an amputee, and I work in a wheelchair. He's like, what were you going to tell me? I was like, I wasn't planning on telling you until the first day I started. And ever since then, I've been just loving what I do. I love lifting trucks. It's, it's fun. It's, I'm really good at it, and I really love doing it. So I actually found something that I really want to do, and I, I love doing it every day. I feel like I've been, I've been working there for two years, and I haven't woken up one day feeling like it was a job. And it felt, felt right doing it. it felt really right. Uh, I would say he's very positive, always looks at the better side of things. Um, I think going through something like that, uh, you tend to realize Things are a little more precious and you don't sweat the small stuff. I just see him like he's just positive and he's a hard worker. You know, the first thing he came in and we wanted to see how he was going to work because it's something different. And yeah, sure enough, you know, even when it comes to helping out, he's the first one. He'll throw himself on the floor. He'll get himself going. You know what I mean? Set himself up. So to me, that like motivates me even also like because you're surprised to see him do that. Uh, I was surprised to see Daniel with one leg hanging lift kits all day and he does like two trucks a day. It's absolutely insane. You got a dude in a wheelchair that rolls around all day long and hangs lift kits, does what he loves. So to him, it's pretty easy. It's nothing hard because he loves what he does. So it's just, it's amazing. There's no excuses. A regular guy can't have any excuses on not to do the job anymore. It's awesome. It's a lot of motivation too when you see somebody like that that still does something like this in this industry. The kid is just a huge inspiration as far as pushing himself to the limits, never letting anything hold him back. Um, I mean, he says he looks up to me, but at the end of the day, I, I'm truly looking up to him. Somebody with that kind of positivity and, you know, being able to push yourself in the circumstance that he's in is absolutely amazing. I saw my family crying, my friends would come see me, and like, I was on the brink of death a few times. Like, I bled out on scene, I bled out after surgery, I bled out in other scenarios. I just, I almost didn't make it like three times. So, like I said, he doesn't let anything get him down, and I think that's the greatest thing. He, he went through such a traumatic incident in his life, and for him just to push on um, is, is just absolutely amazing. You know, I shouldn't let life bring me down because I, I'm still functional, but I have a bad moment in my life. Don't let it bring you down because, I mean, I'm stuck with one leg the rest of my life, so I'm gonna have a choice. But I'm not gonna let a wheelchair slow me down and stop me from, from letting people think that, oh, he's in a wheelchair, I should help him, I should feel bad for him, I should, but I don't, I don't need nothing. I just wanna show you that I can do it, and I don't really need anyone to help me out. I mean, I have people help me out sometimes because there are things that I can't do, but most of the time I just, I do it and just get it done. I don't have much of a choice. It's either that or not doing what I love and I'm not, not gonna do that. 
I'm an above knee amputee. I lost my leg seven years ago in a motorcycle accident, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one-legged lift tech in the world. 